Well, trying to start a family could be a long and emotional process. In fact, for some, it could mean the need to speak to a fertility expert. Well, we have one. Joining us this morning, Dr. Randy Morris, Medical Director of IVF1 in Chicago and Naperville. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Our first question, when do you know that maybe you should, as a family, go to a fertility expert? Maybe you've been trying for some time, or there's got to be things you can just look for. Sure. Uh, if you're a woman who's been attempting pregnancy and you're underage, 37, we usually say try for a year before seeking a fertility specialist. Uh, if you're older than that, the current wisdom is six months because those women need to be a little bit more aggressive. But if there's certain obvious things that you know, so for example, if a woman's not getting her periods, not ovulating, or if she knows previously that she has a problem like black tubes, uh, then they can uh, seek fertility treatment uh, very early. And there are a lot of options. You could start with a not-so-aggressive approach and then work your way up. Can we talk about some of those options? Sure. And, and really the first thing is just to do some diagnostic testing. Uh, sometimes c couples will come in, do some testing, and if everything's okay, then maybe try for a little while longer on their own. Uh, if they do proceed with treatment, there's a wide variety of treatments that are available. Uh, we have fertility medications that are given as pills, Clomid, Clomiphene citrate, uh, and then you can kind of go up the ladder. We have injectable fertility medications, and then we have the more uh, uh, technology invasive things like in vitro fertilization. We're tackling fact and fiction here. You, you hear sometimes foods and medicines might alter someone's chances of having a, a child. What's your take on that? Well, uh, I think most of it is probably old wives' tales, but a few things do have some reality. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, uh, we know that smoking has an adverse effect on reproduction. Uh, people always ask me, well, I'm, I'm a healthy person, I should be able to get pregnant. And for the most part, that doesn't really relate, but in one instance, obesity, for example, mm -hmm. we know that those women have a lot more difficulty achieving and maintaining pregnancies. They miscarry more often, they're less successful with fertility treatments. Well, what are the side effects of having the fertility treatments? Well, really, the biggest side effect is multiple pregnancy. Uh, depending on the medication chosen, there may be other types of side effects. So, for example, Clomid, which I mentioned earlier, sometimes will cause women to have hot flashes. And since a lot of these medications will cause a number of eggs to develop in the ovaries, bloating, abdominal fullness, that's a common complaint. Before we let you go, uh, picking a clinic, there are a lot out there. There's a lot of choices people can make. How about some advice quickly on that? Uh, check to make sure that the physician is a board-certified reproductive endocrinologist. Uh, you can go to various websites like the uh, ASRM, American Society for Reproductive Medicine, uh, or even the Society for Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility and find out. One last question for you, if I may. Money. How, how does this range, money-wise, the expense of it? Well, luckily in Illinois, there is a law called the Illinois Family Building Act that will require most employers to cover infertility treatment, including the big things like IVF. So check with the human resources person first. Uh, other uh, uh, possibilities include uh, helping finance. We have uh, finance programs. Uh, we try to do as much as we can with medication, for example, to help patients who might not be able to afford treatments. Oh, that's great. Dr. Morris, we appreciate it. And we have more information on our website as well. We'll link you to his website and the, the organization he works for. You just go to NBC5.com. You click the As Seen On link, and we'll direct you on some of those sites you mentioned. Thank great. you very much for being here this morning. Thank we appreciate you. the information. Great information. Yeah.